Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter. Welcome to your Tennis Now News Update. When players come face to face, you know, they don't always see eye to eye. So last weekend, when Jeannie Bouchard refused to shake hands with Alexandra Duguera before a match, it got us thinking about some similar situations. You know, when players are feeling a bit hostile, when things get a little uncomfortable. So how about we count down our top 10 harshest handshakes of the open era? Number 10 happened earlier this year when Venus Williams outdueled Barbaro Streetsova in Doha. Venus took exception to her opponent's stare down during the handshake, saying, what was that look for? And moves safely through into the quarterfinals. Ladies and gentlemen. And remember this, no love lost between Andre Agassi and Boris Becker, who openly sparred with Andre's then wife, actress Brooke Shields, during some of their matches. Our number nine handshake is this no-look exchange between Agassi and Becker after Agassi won their 1995 U.S. Open semifinal. Up next, maybe she was upset by her opponent's celebration or that she lost her chance to reach the Wimbledon final. But our number eight bad handshake winner is Aga Radvanska, who throws some shade on Sabine Lasicki's 2013 Wimbledon semifinal win with this drive-by move. She survived. You know, sometimes things get so heated, a player doesn't even want to look at his rival, let alone touch him. Our number seven worst handshake comes from the 1997 French Open, where Tomas Muster refuses to shake hands with Jeff Tarango twice. That clash happened just before Tarango stormed off the court and quit mid-match without a handshake. That was Wimbledon 1995. Wonder if he's over that. Let's play. You are the most corrupt official in the game and you can't do that. Court violation, verbal abuse, point penalty, Mr. Tarango. That's it! Game on. Even iconic Hall of Famers can go a little off course. Steffi Graf makes the list, coming in at number six, with her initial no handshake to Gabriella Sabatini in Tokyo. Upset by a series of questionable calls, Graf walks off without shaking anybody's hand, though she does settle down and then she comes back and shakes Sabatini's hands just seconds later. <laughs> There was no lingering animosity there, though. You might remember years later, Steffi gave the speech at Gabby's induction into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. So all is well there. Pat Rafter and Pete Sampras were two of the classiest champions of their era, but Pete Sampras Shocked that the chair umpire overruled against him on match point, does not mince words with the ump, withholding the handshake and making his point with a long, cold stare. That's our number five. Cold, wide. Sampras is hesitating. The serve did look good. And Sampras bemused and can hardly believe it. An overrule from the chair ump to give Patrick Roth to the win. Coming in at number four, a young Rafa Nadal against Tomas Burdich in Madrid. Rafa apparently upset that Burdich shushed the Spanish crowd after his victory, admonishes Tomas during the handshake. No, no, don't try and conduct the crowd. You won't become very popular by doing that. Played a magnificent match. And Burdich makes the list again for skipping the handshake against another Spaniard, Nicholas Amalgro, after Amalgro drilled Burdich with the ball at the Australian Open. 
Burditch got the win, but still smarting, refused to shake hands, prompting boos from the fans in Melbourne. No handshake from Burditch. He blew him off, and the crowd noticed that. And even the best players in the game can't always keep their cool. That's right, it's Nole's turn. Upset by Fabio Fognini's antics during a 2013 Shanghai match, Novak Djokovic yanked the Italian's arm in a don't mess with the Joker kind of move during their physical handshake. And leave it to the animated Fabio to make our list twice. In a rare move, watch chair umpire Carlos Bernardis, who was upset by Fognini's repeated arguments initially refused to shake Fabio's hand. They argued a little more, apparently reached a truce, and then shook on it. The all-time worst handshake. This one goes to Yanko Tetsarevic and Roddick Stepanek. After a grueling Davis Cup loss to Yanko Tetsarevic, Roddick Stepanek shockingly gave Yanko the finger during the post-match handshake. And he means it. And what's worse than that? How about throwing a sucker punch instead of shaking hands? Incredibly, Karl Novacek in the 1992 French Open actually threw a punch at another player after a frustrating loss. And our number one harshest handshake of all time goes to a female, Patty Schneider. Upset by opponent Conchita Martinez's behavior in a 2004 Charleston loss, Schneider turned the post-match handshake into a hand fake. Patty said she did it as a way to give Conchita a piece of her mind, which according to court observers, included the B-word. Well, then Patty reinforced her reputation as a volatile post-match presence, slapping Daniela Hantakova's handshake attempt in Luxembourg. That one happened in 2007. And if the hand slap wasn't enough, check out her husband, Rainer, get into the action, kicking a water bottle on his way out. Can't we all just get along? That's our top 10 list. Let's hear your picks for the harshest handshakes. If you remember some others, let us know. That's our news for now. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to follow us on Facebook. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.